Future track will show us how this plays out over the next few hours. Now, most of this, I think, does tend to stay more off to our north, mainly north of Highway 64. The best chance to see a few of these showers and storms here through the evening and overnight tonight. Once that line makes its way through, we're quiet by tomorrow morning. We'll all be waking up to mostly sunny skies. It should be a pretty nice day tomorrow overall. Now, we will be tracking as we go towards Friday night, overnight, a storm system off to our south going to be making its way towards us. Now, this is going to generally stay off to our south. You can see how that rain stays into southern Wisconsin. Not going to rule out some of that trying to drift its way northward uh, very late Friday night, very early Saturday morning. But for the most part, I think we will stay dry and pretty much through the entire day Saturday looking pretty good. You can see a couple of little showers trying to pop up here on future track Saturday afternoon. These are going to be very tough to come by. There's just not going to be a lot of moisture to work with. We are going to have the warmth, we are going to have the energy, but it is going to be drier out there. So it's shaping up to be a pretty nice holiday weekend coming up here. We're looking at a high of 85 tomorrow, 86 on Saturday and on Sunday. We will crank up the heat a little bit as we head into Monday with a high up to 89. And then the 4th of July on Tuesday, looking at a high right around 90 degrees. Now I think we're going to stay dry until then. We will be tracking the chance for a few showers and storms late Tuesday night for the 4th of July. We'll have to keep an eye on that for fireworks, but I think the better chances for rain will come after the 4th on Wednesday.